This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2203. How to Boost Your Mood with Healthy Food by Dr. Jenny Brockus of drjennybrockus.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the websites. And with that, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. How to Boost Your Mood with Healthy Food by Dr. Jenny Brockus of drjennybrockus.com. It's depressing news, but one in 16 Australians is currently living with depression, and one in seven is struggling with anxiety. While we are getting better at talking about mental health issues, we're not doing so great when looking for ways to reduce the risk of mental distress from occurring in the first place. One area of research that's been gaining a lot more media attention recently is the role that our diet plays on our mood and mental well-being. You are what you eat, so they say. It may come a little surprise to learn that poorer food choices like fast foods and snacks, while filling our bellies quickly and cheaply, are contributing to poor physical and mental health. Why this is requires an introduction to the three key players, your gut, brain, and microbiome, and how they communicate with each other. What is your microbiome? Your microbiome comprises the 100 trillion bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi that cover your body and inhabit your gut. We've known of its existence for a long time, but it's only relatively recently that it's been giving up some of its secrets, enhancing our understanding of different disease processes that affect the human body and leading to potential novel approaches to their treatment and management. While the thought of having all these microbes living inside of us might seem alarming, They've been our constant companions throughout our evolutionary history. Most of them contribute to our well-being, but like any good story, there are always a couple of dastardly villains that work to produce the opposite effect, as you may remember from the last time you ate something that made you sick. They work to help us digest our food. They produce vitamins B and K. They help to fight inflammation through the production of immune molecules, and they produce neurotransmitters identical to the ones produced by the brain including serotonin, which helps to regulate emotion, with 90% of it being produced in the gut. Our gut microbes are special because they behave as independent janitors of our gut health, both communicating with and directing our gut and brain via the bidirectional gut-brain axis. And the healthiest microbiome is the one that is the most diverse, obtained through eating a wide variety of different foods. The Connection Between Our Mood and Food Nutritional psychiatry has been spearheaded by the work of a number of researchers and scientists, including Professor Susan Prescott, Drs. John Cryan and Ted Dinan, Emeryn Mayer, and Professor Felice Jaca, and her team from the Mood and Food Institute. It is now believed that a disruption to the healthy balance of microbes occurs through the overuse of antibiotics or consumption of junk foods that destroy the good bacteria, allowing the bad bacteria to proliferate. How do we know this to be true? The evidence from animal and human studies is mounting. Now, this will sound a bit disgusting, so bear with me here. Fecal transplants from humans with irritable bowel syndrome and anxiety into germ-free mice showed the mice subsequently developed the symptoms and behaviors of anxiety and irritable bowel syndrome. Yes, we are talking poop transplantation here. The outcome from this work has seen fecal transplants as a potential new strategy to manage and reduce the symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease. It's early on, but the results appear encouraging. Meanwhile, back to brains and mood. The SMILES trial, led by Felice Jaca and her team, has been hailed as an important first step. The study sought to answer the question of whether dietary intervention, meaning improving one's diet, could be useful as a treatment strategy for depression. And the results say yes. In the trial, 67 subjects with clinically diagnosed moderate to severe depression were enrolled in either a dietary support group or social support group. 55 of the subjects were using either medication or psychotherapy. Over the 12-week period, the group on dietary support were put on the Modi Med diet that supported consuming 12 key food groups, whole grains, vegetables, fruit, legumes, low-fat and unsweetened dairy foods, raw and unsalted nuts, fish, lean red meat, chicken, eggs, and olive oil. Their intakes of extras, like sweets, refined cereals, fried foods, fast foods, 
processed meats and sugary drinks were reduced. The primary outcome was a significant reduction in symptoms of depression in the dietary support group. While it's not being suggested that diet alone is the solution to mood disorders such as depression, our diet clearly has a role to play. And if it means feeling less depressed, recovering more quickly, or needing lower doses of antidepressants, that surely has to be a big plus. The link between fast food and depression is real and is a dose response. The more fast food consumed, the higher the risk of developing depression, which means we all have a choice to make. Fast foods are readily available, cheap, and yummy. But can we afford to take the risk of putting our mental well-being on the line? It's not about banning fast foods altogether. It's about making the healthier choices more often, filling up on those foods that will support our health and well-being. It's about eating more plant-based foods, vegetables, fruit, whole grains, beans, seeds, nuts, and legumes, and less processed food that's typically high in unhealthy trans fats, sugar, and salt. You just listened to the post titled How to Boost Your Mood with Healthy Food by Dr. Jenny Brockus of drjennybrockus.com. Keeping your body in shape is important, but it's also important to keep your mind sharp. It's time to level up your focus with Word Collect. Word Collect is my new favorite game. It's a free word puzzle app that starts easy but gets harder as you get better with over 2,000 levels. Challenge yourself with this fun and addicting brain game that will help keep your mind sharp and grow your vocabulary. Right now, Word Collect is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play. And I recommend you take them. Even with all the reading I do here on OHD, I've needed the help a few times on Word Collect. This game is as challenging as it is fun. Stop mindlessly scrolling through social media and keep your mind sharp. Just go to the Apple or Google store and search for Word Collect. So if you're like me and want to get fit with your mind and body, download Word Collect for free today. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. The traditional way of thinking about mental disorders like anxiety and depression went like this. Mental disorders often led to gastrointestinal problems like constipation and diarrhea. For example, when someone was feeling anxious, they may have suffered from a gurgly stomach and bouts of diarrhea. Well, now we're learning we may have had this mind-gut connection backwards. As Dr. Brockus was explaining in today's article, the health of the gut may influence the health of the brain. Or said another way, if the gut microbiome isn't healthy, then the brain may not be as healthy either. So an imbalanced gut microbiome may contribute to an increased risk of anxiety and depression. Again, as Dr. Brockus said, we need more research to know for sure. But in the meantime, it couldn't hurt to try and do all that we can to support the health of our microbiome. And we can do that just as Dr. Brockus said. Consume five to nine combined servings of fruits and vegetables each day, along with whole grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes, and healthy fats. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing this show with someone. That is a huge help to keep this all going. Now, I will be back tomorrow for our usual Friday Q&A, so definitely stay tuned for that where your optimal life awaits.